Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss about the application gateway functionality. We will discuss how application gateway processes a request from front end to the back end. What are the different components involved while processing a request from the application gateway. I will use this diagram and explain it in the whiteboard session. I will also compare this diagram with the actual application gateway component which we have created. If you look at this diagram, when a user tries to send a request to the application gateway on a particular URL, a very first thing what application gateway does, it tries to resolve the DNS name entry. So if you have a custom DNS name pointing to the front end IP address of the application gateway, it will resolve the public IP address or the front end IP address from that custom DNS name. If you are using default DNS name of Azure for application gateway, it will try to resolve the default DNS name of Azure application gateway to the front end IP address. Because we know that the application gateway is hosted as a pass service and it is hosted as a subdomain of Microsoft Azure. In this case, it is hosted as in cloudapp.net. So your application gateway URL could be contoso.com cloudapp.net. This is going to be another subdomain of Microsoft Azure. So your request will be mapped to the IP address or the front end IP address of your application gateway. Okay, so because we have a IP address host created here. Next, a request will be forwarded to the listener. So in each application gateway, we have at least one listener, which will be responsible for listening the incoming request. I'll show you the front end IP configuration and listener first of all in the Azure portal. So in the Azure portal, if you look at the application gateway configuration, you have the front end IP configuration where you can find the front end IP associated with that application gateway. So if you have created or configured the application gateway as in public, then you would have the public IP address associated. If you have configured only private, then you would find the private IP address link to this application gateway. As I said, once request received at the application gateway it's next the request will be sent to the http listener so in application gateway you need to have at least one listener and the listener the way you configure it you need to have the protocol either http or https then port and you need to also specify the ssl certificate if you are using the https protocol if you are not using the HTTPS protocol, then certificate becomes optional. But if you are using the HTTPS protocol, then you need to specify the certificate because your request will be validated against that certificate or your certificate can be offloaded here at the application gateway level. That's the reason this certificate becomes important if you are using HTTPS. Once the request arrives at the listener level and it matches to the listener configuration it will send the application gateway request will be sent to the WAF configuration to evaluate a request against the OS rule which you have configured in your application gateway this OS rule is only applicable if you have configured a application gateway in a WAF mod if you have used the application gateway in just a standard or standard v2 then this WAF becomes optional. So you don't need to use a WAF or your request will not be processed against the WAF. I'll show you in the Azure portal. So here is the listener configuration. You can see that in a listener, we have the protocol, port and a rule. I'll talk about the rule just in, just in a moment now. If I open this, we have, this is how the listener looks like. And here is the WAF setting, which you can find it here. As I said, if you use the standard VQ, you don't, your request will not be validated against any WAF rule. But if I change it to this WAF, you need to enable the WAF status, and then your request will be validated against this WAF rule set, which you can configure it 
and customize it if it requires. Okay, I'll discard this particular change as we are not using the WAF for this particular instance of application gateway. Next, the requests are sent to the rules. So you have the you have the application gateway rules configured. At, you need to have at least one rule configured in your application gateway so that what rules what we are saying here in the rule that if any incoming requests receive on this listener then evaluate the request based on this rule so rules could be i if a request contains slash image path then forward the image forward such request into the image backend if a request is of type slash video path then forward the request to some other port if request is of type some other configuration or other path then forward the request to some other backend or just block the request something like that so that kind of a configuration you need you can do so when you configure a rule you need to specify what is your http listener setting on which the list request is going to be listened and what is your backend configuration on which the requests are going to be sent if a request will be matching to that particular rule so here is the rule sample as i said in the rule when you create a rule you need to specify what would be the listener this rule is going to be applicable and then once the listener matches to that particular request what uh, will be the backend pool this request requires to serve on so you need to specify the backend pool and then you need to specify the http setting now let's talk about this http setting why do we need that so when a request match to the backend pool after evaluation of the rule in order to connect to this backend server from which we have mentioned in the backend pool in order to connect to this backend server it requires the connection setting or how it is going to connect that setting it requires so that setting you can specify in the http setting when i say how it connects it means that how your backend servers are configured to allow a valid connection for example even though you are allowing a communication from application gateway in the http port but it might possible your server are protected with the https call only so if that's the case then you may want to configure the backend connection with https port which is a 443 and you may want to upload a valid certificate in order to make a communication to your backend server it could be other way around as well you may it might possible your request is on http server https port at the front end upload the certificate here at the listener level and when it goes to the back end it doesn't require any certificate because the back end is listing or listening it at the port 80 so that could be another configuration so depending upon the configuration or depending upon the way server accepts the changes that is the configuration you define in the http setting you need to what are the different parameters you need to specify in the http setting in azure portal when you define the http setting this is how the http settings looks like so we are saying that in order to make a connection to the backend server use the http protocol on this particular port you can set the cookie based affinity to make a communication you can use the connection draining as well you can also specify some additional settings such as overwrite the host name you can use this particular setting if you want to overwrite or if you want to change the url of the host name which you are connecting to you can also change the backend you can also pick up the host name from the backend target which you have specified for example if you have mentioned a fqda name in the backend server then you may want to use the host name from that fqda name and if that's the case you can use this particular option 
or if you want to specify any specific domain name which you want to connect to the backend server that is again you can specify right from here or you can leave it here then you have a custom probe as well so custom probe basically custom probe helps you to connect to the backend server by making a valid connection through the connection pool setting so basically this is where we are specifying in order to connect to the server what are the different settings i can use just to check the health and the availability of the server so that's what the connection probe settings or the custom probe setting which you can specify if you do not specify the custom probe setting then application gateway by default uses the default probe to check the health of the backend pool or the backend servers and if it finds the unhealthy node then it basically drain out those uh, subsequent requests from the backend pool server i'll show you the configuration of the probe this is the custom pro health probe which you can configure with the application gateway so you can specify the name protocol host name how do you want to connect it and then path on which path this probe should use to connect to the backend server so that it can basically validate a particular server is alive or not and then the interval at what internal we would like to check the probe or check the health of the server so that's the frequency you need to specify then timeout and threshold basically and again you can specify this port is applicable to which particular http setting you either you specify from here or you can specify directly from the http settings as well so it's vice versa setting so this is how it works so simply these seven step user sends a request it resolves the dns name send it to the application gateway application gateway forwards the request to the listener listener evaluates the request based on the configuration then it sends the request to the waf if waf is applicable if not then it sends the request to the rules because a http listener is associated to a rule and then once a rule evaluated whether it is a basic or path based rule a rule will send the request to the backend pool but before it connects to the actual backend server it uses the http setting to evaluate the connection or to make a connection to the actual backend server we also have a custom probe in place in case if you would like to check the health of the backend server pool with the help of custom configuration of using the custom probe so that's again something which you can customize for your request so this is how the application gateway end to end flow looks like i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video